Hello there folks, uh, this is a quick video about uh, mixing uh, tablet oscilloscope and putting it in a case. Uh, that's as simple as that. And uh, one of the great things about this scope is that it is portable in the true meaning of the word. So, um, and it's about a 10 inch uh, tablet, but um, as opposed to the sort of normal tablet, which is, is really rather thin and uh, like this, um, although it's, you know, an equivalent sort of, uh, footprint if you like the uh, this is not really tablet width is it so uh, I would say it's probably about four centimeters maybe a bit more one and a half inches so what we want to do is um, we want to have some means of uh, <clears throat> putting this in a safe case so we can put it in our tool bag or travel bag whatever that might be to protect the unit and uh, make sure it's not broken when we actually get on site. So uh, as well we could do with something to hold the probes. Um, power supply here and this is an IEC uh, kettle lead, uh, whatever you want to call it in the UK. Some of us call them kettle leads but it's an IEC connector. Uh, so um, I had a go in, uh, in the I, on the EV blog forum and uh, asked a few people and uh, although there is a mixing do do a uh, case for this it's actually a lot larger than the unit itself and one of the key things is is uh, it's portable scope you want to have have it always portable so I'd rather not have something that was sort of significantly larger than the scope itself to carry it so here we go so this is the uh, uh, bag that I got this is a logic uh, bag it's um, an L10 LBK 11 I think it is cost me nine pounds and 99 uh, maybe you can get it cheaper than that elsewhere. But the key thing to this is, uh, is that uh, it is padded. It um, feels like it might be a neoprene type uh, foam, probably about a quarter inch um, in the sort of, I don't know if it's ballistic nylon, but it's some sort of thing like that. I'm not a material scientist, so uh, uh, there you go. Um, so there's that, and it's on both sides. It's padded. Uh, it's even padded at the edges too. And um, you'll see also there's a nice little pouch on the front. The downside of the pouch though, which I was thinking about using it for, for the um, probes themselves, um, downside of this uh, is that this, this bit here isn't padded. But let's see how we get on, see how the scope fits. So um, let's pop her in and uh, see if it's a reasonable fit. Well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So we've got the scope itself in. A um, little bit of uh, give in there, but uh, it's fairly tight. Stick the probes in. Nice. So there we go, we've got the probes in. Um, nothing there looks like it's, it's not so tight that actually, you know, you're gonna end up with a, a problem. Um, as long as you're neat when you pack them away and everything and take care with those leads. Um, if, any, if you share your cables, you'll probably know that uh, they tend to uh, get chucked about and you lose probe tips and all that. But the only other thing is we've got is we've got this power supply, which would be handy to have, even though it's got a reasonable battery life. And we've also got this um, kettle lead. So the question is, can we get this in? So it's not really going to go in at uh, anywhere other than probably just down the side so let's just pop it in there there you go that is snug as a bug in a rug and uh, any other thing I've got is this IC mains lead. Well, you're out of luck there. I mean, it will sort of go in there, but unfortunately this UK plug, which is um, lethal on the feet in the middle of the night, uh, a bit like a Lego brick, to be honest with you, if you ever had to suffer that. Um, this, uh, unfortunately, is um, not going to fit in there, unless, of course, you decide to have it just hanging out. I mean, you can jury rig it so it does that. The problem, problem with doing it when it's just hanging out like that is that um, you quite like to break the zip um, and it's not that great. But the good news is if you're putting this anyway 
uh, in a within another bag, uh, like a tool bag or your travel bag. Um, these things are robust as heck, so you can just chuck them in on the side and um, I don't even need to go in here. And even if you lose it, these things are so ubiquitous that uh, I'm sure that somebody on site will have one. And even if it does mean uh, going without a cup of tea, well, you can't run the kettle. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, that is the Logic L10 LBK11 for you. And I got it from PC World, £9.99, which is probably about uh, $99 or €9.99. Euros 99. And um, unfortunately, PC World isn't the place I like to go to. It's probably the world's worst uh, shopping experience. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.